Hey, this is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com, and uh, we're going to get right into some fun stuff right away. Go to structure on your site, and we've covered blocks and contact forms. Now we're going to move on to content types. Now, again, blocks right here are the little blocks that go over to the right-hand side. You can put information in there, a login, um, I don't know. A little advertisement, you can charge somebody $250 a month or $50 a month. Put a little advertisement over the side. Contact form is pretty self-explanatory. You get contacts. Uh, if somebody wants to contact your customer service, say hello. Say, I want more of this. You can use the contact form via email. This one's content types. Let's click in that. Now, let's just do an overview of this and then we'll get into the nitty-gritty uh, first of all you have basic pages right here a blog entry if you're doing a blog this would be where you wanted to do it now you might be asking well why couldn't I use a basic page or a blog as the same thing and let me give you one example to clear this up as to why it's so important to keep different content uh, as a different content type and, and one of the easiest ways to do this is to go back to structures actually I'll go to the home page open that up in a new tab and then go down to this block here and we're gonna configure the block do you remember when we looked at this before we went down here and we only wanted to show it on a certain pages for example we could go blog forward slash star what's that gonna do for us well, if our URL is all blogs and then anything that's under blogs, that means that that block will only show up on the blogs page. So now you have a lot more control over your site. So, yeah, maybe you do want it on, um, you know, the main page. So let's just make this word up here. So now you have it on all your main pages. And, of course, you have to look up the exact URL and what you've got going on but this gives you a lot more control over your site so let's go back here that's why we want maybe the basic page and then a blog page and then customer page FAQ page forum topic pages so you can control your forum topics gallery uh, which is your pictures news items polls and testimonies these are all content types that they've already set up now you can add a content type let's look at that so let's say test content type and the description this is only for your purposes or other people let's say you have five or six people working on your site well this is test um, please do not use so I've just told the other people working on the site this is just a test you probably want one on do this anyways and then um, here is the different things we're going to set up. First of all, what do you want your title field uh, to read? So if we went in here, we could say title. Um, make it good. Now, under each content type, now we're setting up what are the people going to be filling in? Well, first of all, they're going to fill in the title, make it good, and do we want a preview before submission that's optional or if you want your guys to look at it make sure it looks good before they they submit it push required and then you can put a little explanation in there okay let's go back make that optional I'm not gonna put an explanation well we'll put a little one this is a test explanation for title oh no this is a uh, submission guidelines so we'll put for guidelines and then over here under publishing options do you want it to be promoted uh, published sorry I was looking at the second line do you want it published right away and if you leave it unpublished that means only people logged in that have admin roles can see it you do want it published for the public and promoted to the front page we don't uh, always use this part and what I do I rather use views and so it doesn't really matter you can leave that check doesn't matter and then sticky at the top of the list uh, you could click that and it'll st always stay at the top display settings display author and date information if you don't mind that information being there you could uh, leave that checked or if you want it off uncheck it right there um, add this button 
Now, if you're familiar with the add this this button, that means you could share it with Facebook. You know the little links you see at the bottom of a page or something that says share with Facebook. In fact, let me show show you this. So we go to the addthis.com and you can see they've got the little share buttons here. So you can add that to the bottom of your um, each page. And so let's go back. So we want the sh uh, show add this button on there. Um, but you can take it off if you if you don't have reasons to share. Uh, there might be something like a gallery or something like that. Comment settings. Um, do you want them open, closed, or hidden? We'll just leave them open. Do you want threaded? Um, as in showing comment replies in a threaded list, you know, one after another. How many comments do you want per page? And now it's asking you here, how do you want anonymous comments to be handled? And you can say, well, they may not enter their contact information. Just leave a comment and go. They may or may not leave their contact information or they must leave their contact information. I would go with must every single time. I really would. Um, allow comment title gives you a little title and they can have the option to preview comment show reply form on the same page as comments man this stuff I'll be honest with you it's cool it's neat to know but sometimes when I'm going through it it's a little boring I'm like ah okay yeah whatever just pretty well leave this stuff default uh, if you need to adjust it you'll know where to go but that's the comment settings and then the menu setting and this menu settings now remember you're setting up a template this is a template for your content type. So what you're doing is you can limit it to what menus people can put this content in. So if you only want the test menu to be in the main menu, now really, to be honest with you, the main menu down right behind this, it's a little crowded. So I'm not sure I like putting stuff in the menu like this. I kind of like how it's set up, but if you do, you can limit it to just the main menu. And then the default parent item could be testimony so when they go into create content and I'll show you this in a second this would be the default and they could change within here but they could only put it in the main menu or you could say okay I this can go anywhere this particular content can go in any menu and I'm gonna make the default one the one I'd prefer them to do is under gallery but it could go anywhere and so once you've done that you can push, I'm going to limit this, okay? I'm just going to go testimonies, just like that. So I'm going to limit it to main menu because that will help my issue. Click save content. All right. Let's go check out what we did. Go back up to add content. Now notice right down here, we have all of our other stuff. We have test content type. Let's go into that. And there's our nice little title, title, make it good. So this is test content. And again, we're going to copy and paste this right here. Test content, go down, menu settings. Now, we just got done talking about a template we just set up. So look at this. The menu title imports it from this right here, and we can adjust it. So we could say test is all we want in the menu and we can write a little description for our admins that are helping us out and then right here under testimonies notice it limited us to just the main menu how powerful is that and uh, it defaulted to testimonies but you could change it to forms or something like that and then you can decide the weight which we've looked at before revision information right there URL path this takes the title uh, we'll go into this a little bit later. Let's go back. So there's our content. I'm just going to finish this out, and we'll go into this deeper. Um, can they post comments? Yes. Authoring information is fine. Publishing offerings, fine. And save. All right. This is a look at our test content, and it has... Our share button, cool, I could share it on Facebook if I wanted to. This is our content we just put in there. Uh, we can set up, we can leave a little comment down here if we wanted to. Now let's go back to find content. Now I don't want to get you confused here because we've kind of went over three buttons. We've went over the structure content type. We've created a template 
for our content. And then we've added uh, content because we added a particular uh, and we've added the content. Let's go look at our content. We're going to find it once we've done it here. And notice right here it, it uh, has it right at the top. And the type of content is our test content type. And the content title happens to be test content. Don't let that confuse you. But this is the content. Now let's go down here. Maybe this will help a little bit. You have the customer type of content. And under this, you have example customer 2, example customer 1. Okay, that's two different types of content under this template right there. So a good way to think about it, a content type is a template for all that content. Um, another one, a gallery. Okay, that's a content type. And they've created a sample gallery. We can go look at that. I want to see if they have pictures. Yep, they've got two nice little pictures there. All right. Well, man, that's a lot to cover. Um, mainly because it can be confusing between content and content types. And just think of it this way. You create content under a template, and the template is called content types. All right, play around with content uh, types there. Uh, see what you can do. Um, create your own content types if you, if you have a need for it. And you can create all kinds of stuff. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. This is Chad with homeschoolwebmaster.com, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.